I'm Sheena from Little Elias Ideas, back again with another tutorial on how to edit my printables that I share on my blog. And today I'm going to be using the latest invitation that I shared on my blog, and it is the Relief Society birthday invitation. I love how it turned out. I hope you do too, and that you can use it for your own birthday celebration. So today's tutorial is mostly for um, all of you Mac users out there. I've had a few of you ask how to edit my printables um, with a Mac. So if you're on a PC, I have a really great step-by-step -step tutorial that I will link to on the blog post. But for those of you on a Mac, here is how you do it. So first of all, you're going to download the invitation. And once you download it, it will um, pop up on a screen, kind of like a preview screen. Not sure what they call it, but it'll pop up. If it doesn't pop up, just find where it was saved and open it, and it will open in this screen. And you are gonna be doing all of your editing right here on the screen, which is great. You aren't gonna need to use another program. It's just done all right here. So first to add text, you're gonna come up here to this little toolbox button and click on it. And so to add some text, we're gonna come up here to the text box button and you'll click on it. And as you can see, the text box will pop up. So we are gonna start by adding the date and the time. And sorry, you can't see that. The font color is a really bad color. So as you can see, I added March 17th at 6.30. Sorry, I gotta add my little colon right there. Now to change the font color and the size, you're gonna come up here to the textile button. And if you wanted to change the font, this is where you would do it, but I wanna keep it on that same Lily Bell font that is um, part of the title. And this is another reason I like doing, um, like adding text here instead of Canva. I love using Canva, it's super easy, but it doesn't have all the fonts that I like. Now you can, you know, pay to upload fonts, but I figure this is cheap and easy and it does the same thing. So you'll click on Lily Bell, and then here are all of your font colors. And we're just gonna do a white. And then you can decide um, what, Sorry, <laughs> I have to think. You can decide if you want it larger or smaller just by you know changing your font size. Um, so now one other really cool trick that you can do with this, I mean obviously I'm doing a white font, but let's say we wanted this yellow color. If you come up here, if you just clicked on a yellow, it wouldn't be that same yellow as this balloon over here. But if you come down here to show colors, and um, come down here to this little eyedropper tool, you'll see this huge magnifying circle. If you hover over that yellow color and click on it, it will change your font or your um, text to that exact same color, which I love. I love having an exact match. So now let's get back to the white, what we want. So I'm gonna close all that out. Now, if you want to have um, the date and the time and the place all one font, you would just come to the end and push enter and start typing. But let's say you wanted a different font. You would just come back up here to the text and then we'll do Relief Society Room. But let's say I wanted this text the same as the Join Us 4A, which is Nixie 1. And both of these fonts are free fonts, and I have links to each of the fonts on my blog post, so stop by and check that out. So then, once I have it, I'll just drag it down. And as you can see, that little yellow line popped up. That is showing me that it's centered horizontally on my invitation. 
Now, for some reason, it doesn't always show up. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but just play around with it for a little while and it should do it. So we also need to add some information text down at the bottom. So once again, you'll just come down here or come up here to the text box and then you'll just type in um, additional info, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I guess you don't want it that long. All right, so then you'll drag this on down and like that. So now to print it, you'll come up here to the file name into this little arrow and you'll click down and oh actually no that's not where you go this is where you would save it you would just type in the name and save but you'll go to command p so this is where so you can print it like that or if you come down well actually we'll do this first sorry so if you want two to a page if you're just printing at home do two to a page it fits it perfectly for you. Now, if you need it a little smaller, you can do 100% or whatever percent. Now, if you're having it printed somewhere like Walgreens or Walmart or something like that, um, you would come over here to PDF, save as PDF, and then you would just save it under the folder that you would like and then click save and once you click save it'll save under that folder you can send um, your file to Costco or wherever you're getting it printed and they will print it for you so that is how you edit on a Mac it's super easy I hope that you found this tutorial helpful if you have any questions just Leave me a comment or send me an email at littleldsideas at hotmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.